Yes, people. A new vlog starting now on the fishing adventures of Brad. See how I can get on with it all. I'm not going to pretend I'm a professional angler or anything like that. So if you see me doing anything wrong in these videos, don't discriminate. I'm just trying. <laughs> Trial and error and all that. But yeah, on the way down to Trentview. I was meant to be meeting some of the lads down there, but they kind of flopped it. Because it's a bit too cold for them, the little girls. What's wrong with them? See a proper little puffs. No, I'm not coming. The temperature's not right and blah, blah, blah. Whoa, you're not going to catch Lane in your bed, are you? So, get your ass up and get on the bank. I'll let you know when we get close up. We'll see my mate Ian down at Trent View. See how we can get on here. Let's go and have a look around and see what we can get. Just having a stroll around the lake. See what we can see. Not really much showing, to be fair. But it's quite a lot of the lads on here. It's been fishing really slow since the cold weather. Just my pissing luck. That's peg 47. The double peg. Let's have a butchers at the new one they've got. They've got a new peg that they dug out. Peg 48. Let's have a look. I don't think anyone's even fished it yet. Looks a bit swampified though. It's going to be more of a summer peg. No parking on the grass. Sand. Yeah, it's a bit wet round here. Walk me. Clear at the edges, eh? Well, we decided to go for peg 44 on Trent View in the tree line. Let's see what we can do. Still not seen nothing showing like, but we will see. We will see if the carp gods are on my side. Come on, come on. You've got me back, I know you have. We can do this. Let's have Gutsy out at a lake record side. That's the rods out. All three rods in close. One's about here, one's about there, and one's just under this tree. Close in, handful of house pellets over the top, solid bag, and yellow afters, pineapple. Let's see how it goes. Any updates, people? I'll give you a shout, but at the minute, peace out. Lips has got to sort the back of the van out, get everything set up properly, get the kettle on, get my TV down, Sort my bed out. Bit of a mess at the minute, but hey ho. You know it's like when you first get to fishing, the first thing you want to do is get your rods out. Rods out, and the key thing, get your net ready. Anything else can get set up afterwards. But yeah, I'll be back in touch soon, people. Hopefully, we've we'll all sorted. Camper van cleaned up. Now for me to get my fucking dinner on, get the kettle on, put TV on. Rods already out. Bait boat at the ready. No messing. Time for me to put the bait boat out. To see if I can find any spots. Because you know what? I'm not seeing anything that's worthwhile at the minute. I know it's slow. But these swans are pissing me off every time I try and fish a margin spot. So let me see what we can see on the magic bait boat. Mark me spots. And then yeah, go from there. Got here. I've got a rod over that as well, that's crazy. I've literally got a rod there. That is absolutely nuts. A rod all over that. The 
the fish are there. Just don't seem to be interested. Nice. Definitely looking a lot more promising. <laughs> oh, I like the look of this drop. Yep, that's looking tasty, that is. piss off. Which way we're going now? More to the centre of the peg. <laughs> See what we can find out there. Seems to me like they're all out there. Oh, there's a man. What is that? Let me go back a bit. Table top there. Mark B. That is very live and kicking. And they're all down the bottom. That's a very good spot. Goes up again. Well, let's see what this is. There's 24. that spot because we're all on the bottom. <laughs> yeah that's lovely that is. That's yeah, fucking lovely but that is. I'll have some of them flavours me all day long. Let's have another butcher see if we can find any more mans. of having autopilot. One, two and three. That'll do me. 
I'll let you know when I'm about to put them out, people. For anybody that's wondering, all I do is my solid bags, my little wafter, punch a few holes, punch a few holes in it, like I've seen on the, um, YouTube videos. Bare a few pellets in there as well, and that will do. We'll put that out in a second, and hopefully we'll have it off. These are just the Trentview house pellets. Hmm. That will do. I'll let you know how we get on. Just for the purpose of the video, it's now going to spot A. I've set the boat to go straight to it. On the autopilot setting. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see if that spot with all them fucking fish on wants to give me one. Here, yeah, fishy, fishy, fishy. Here, yeah, fishy, fishy, fishy. Come on, is a fish. Please. Pretty please, you carp gods, break my winter blank. Please just break it. I need one. I need one. I really, really need it. Oh, I'm ready. I'm so ready, but nothing seems to be happening. Yes, people, just give me a quick update. We've just cooked up a storm. Beef burgers and all that. Oof. Now we're winning. Oh, oh, look at that, that's sexual that is. Oh, wham, baby. We're winning, we're absolutely winning. Get the residues off, yep, sweet, sweet. Loving life, loving life. That's what you call proper bankside living. Leave back in the magic fridge. Oh. Then you drop the camera up, is that alright? Cappuccino and beef burgers for dindins. Oh, win win. You are really testing my patience, mate. Seven o'clock in the morning, he's picked up my bait. Now that's what you call a nice view. You look out your door, and the red chested robin's just sat there, just chilling. Come on. Come on. Come on then. Hang on. My little friend's back again. What up, homie? Well, people, I've had nothing to show, nothing to tell. So I don't want to bore the lives out of you. Don't know on here, they want to want to see me sleeping and chatting pure doo doo to you all that no one really cares about. So, yeah, I've never much to show, nothing much to tell. It's been really quiet all day today. No fish showing, no fish really moving, nothing really going on. No one on the lakes caught at all for the past 48 hours so i don't feel too bad to be honest knowing that i'm on a blank got it this morning half seven watching the water and i've literally seen one showing around about here so got up threw a single on it and hopefully that single can rip away because all the big beds of baits that i've put out in the boat and to the fish on the fish finders and all the rest of it nothing's happened not at a bleep so what i'm thinking is on this lake people and the best thing for you to do is to fish with literally just a single on here that's what i'm thinking so far. oh now look we've got fucking billy big bollocks coming over to come and upset everything look as normal because he's a dickhead Wait for it. Bleep, 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 bleep. Fucking dickhead.
Oh, look at me. I can swim under the water with my head down. Move, prick. You fucking stupid arsehole dickhead. Can you show me your arse? Tell you now, if that fucking line goes around your neck, I am wringing your neck. Move, you bomber. You're taking the piss out of my life. See me fucking bobbing going crazy every time he does it, a fucking knobhead. Well, it's my last morning on Trent View. I ain't caught nothing. I haven't really seen nothing until this morning. Where I've seen a nice fish show around here. So I just casted a single on top of it for the last couple of hours that I'm on here. See if I can nick one out. Because the past 40 hours have been a bit of a struggle, really. Nothing really happening. Yeah, hopefully I managed to nick some out. Before I pack down and go home. Looking lovely and still though. Come on, we can do this. We can do this. Wow, looks like there's nothing more to report. No fish happening. No one on the lake is catching at all. So yeah, sad times for me. But hopefully, next time I come, when it warms up a bit more, because when it's minus degrees at night time in here, it just seems to just shut them straight off. Straight off. I have to wait for it to warm up a bit because I need to get away from these blanks. These blanks are killing me. I've done a winter session on Trent View. Done nine nights in total. Lost one, caught none. <laughs> sad, sad, so sad. And in the meantime of that, one bloke had 20 summit fish because they managed to just switch on that's what happens apparently on these lakes they can just switch on at any time i just never seem to be here when they seem to be turned on i don't know if i'm using the wrong baits or what seems to me like i need a viagra on me hook just to fucking get them going sad yeah from now on i think i might just have to stick some fucking viagras in me in my bait yep the session is coming to an end and still nothing <laughs> not all right there's loads of these little shitty coots all around nothing's going on no one's catching on the lake at all. It's quite a busy lake. Just slowly packing down, slowly sorting my stuff out. Make sure it's tidy for next time I come. Trying to organise it as best I can. Hopefully next time I come and next time I do a vlog, I'll have my cupboard doors on properly. It's a slow process that just keeps going and going and going. But yeah, no fish people. I've got no good news to tell you, unless in the time of me packing down, one of these rods just go, which would be fucking lovely, light, like, but can't really, can't really see it happening. To be fair, go on, go on, rip off, dare you, double dare you, rip off, please, <laughs> pretty please. Yeah, and I had a right nightmare, people. Last night I was setting my rods to make sure everything was right. I got my Nash out freeze. I had to pull my NGT out because the battery died. It wanted me half freeze and didn't even realise it had died. And I didn't even realise I didn't have no spare batteries. For you, man. But yeah, what can I say? Nothing's happening. So, unless anything else comes on and I have to update you with it, which is not very likely at the minute, I'll see you out on the next video. Peace out, people. Thanks for watching.